Welcome to the Yale Men's Basketball Locker Room. I'm Conan Williams, joined by unanimous pick for an Ivy League, all, all Ivy League honors last year, Greg Mangano, leading scorer, leading rebounder, and shot blocker in the Ivy League this season, averaging 19.4 points a game, 10.3 rebounds a game, and two and a half blocks <laughs> a game. Uh, welcome, Greg. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me. So, Greg, uh, you have got off, you've been off to a pretty hot start this season, um, although the first few games, the, the first five or six games, um, were below your season averages. Last year, you averaged a double-double as you are now, mm -hmm. um, under those averages uh, for the first couple of games. But then the game against St. Joseph's of Long Island, where you recorded a career-high 35 points and 22 rebounds, really got you started. How, was, how important was that game to get you mentally prepared to go into the Ivy League schedule? Uh, I mean, it was definitely important. Uh, like you said, at the beginning of the year, I think teams were doing a, a pretty good job um, def uh, defending us as a team and, and myself individually. But um, other guys were stepping up and, and making good plays. And, you know, we, we were playing well, and I think our record proves that. But, yeah, you know, we always play a, a Division three school right before the Ivy League starts up and um, kind of hopefully get get our offense flowing and our defense set and sometimes give a give – um, a different group of guys a chance to play but for myself I mean yeah it, it was it was huge it gives yourself confidence which is a, a big part of the game having confidence going into the Ivy League season is, is something that really helps. You know you mentioned that uh, you drew a lot of double teams early on in this season you've already been named Ivy League player of the week two times which is half as many times as you were pl named the same last season <laughs> four times um, how much did playing with Team USA this summer help you develop your skills uh, at the low post? Uh, I mean, it was it was very beneficial to me. You know, I, going out there, I was honored to just get the invitation, and uh, when Coach Jones let me know, it was it was an honor to to have the opportunity to go out there and play with that kind of competition. And you know, the tryouts lasted a week, and I think even if I wouldn't have made the team, it would have been beneficial just having the opportunity to play with that kind of caliber of players. And you know, making the team was, was even better, and, and I had a, about a month to, to work out in Colorado and then go back to China for the second time that summer and, um, you know, play against some of the best competition of, in college and throughout the world in the, in the, uh, in the games. And, I mean, that just did, did a number for my game personally. Greg, you have some just great moves on the low post. All over the court, you've got deadly range, especially for a guy <laughs> your size. Uh, but we've, we've seen Coach Jones and we've heard from him after the games, uh, you can record a double-double in a night and win the game, and Coach Jones after the game will say, you know what, Greg could have played much better than he did. Mm -hmm. So in light of that, how do you view your role on the team? How do you view yourself not only as an offensive presence, you know, recording the points, getting the offensive rebounds, but also as a defensive presence, you know, blocking shots and getting defensive rebounds? Yeah, well, I mean, I think the, the biggest adjustment for me coming into this year was actually, you know, being a senior and, and having to, to play a leadership role on the team. And Reggie's done a great job as our captain. Um, but, you know, with a couple other seniors, uh, you know, myself, Rhett, and Brian Katz, you know, it's, it's our job to be leaders as well. But, um, yeah, like you said, Coach Jones expects a lot out of me, and I expect a lot out of myself and, and the guys on this team because um, I, I, I've seen us at our best, and, and we're a pretty dangerous team. And I've also seen us play down to our competition, and that's something that we, we have to get away from. And, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's good to have somebody like Coach Jones who expects that out of me because he's, he is getting the most that he can out of myself, and I think that, that helps me a lot. Greg, you mentioned the competition, and to turn your attention to the game coming up against Harvard, Keith Wright, he took home the All-Ivy League Player of the Year last year, and this season he's shooting some 59% from the field, second at best in the Ivy League. Mm -hmm. How do you plan on stopping him um, individually, but even more so as a team come Friday? Yeah, yeah I mean, he's, he's a very good player. Um, we've known that since uh, freshman year. And um, he's, uh, yeah, like, like you said, it's a team defense to, to, to stop a player like that. But um, the good thing about, about the Ivy League is that we've become pretty familiar with each other, playing each other twice a year. So, you know, going into this game, I think we're both pretty familiar with each other, and um, you know it makes us it makes it harder for each of us to score. But yeah, I mean he's a, he's a good player. You got to give him respect uh, for what he's been able to do, 
and, and their team in general. So it's, it's going to be a battle on Friday. Earlier this season, Greg, you <coughs> eclipsed uh, Chris Dudley's r record for most shot blocks, or block shots rather, in Yale history. Um, how do you view you know, your ability to ignite the crowd <laughs> on Friday um, with a block shot? Uh, I mean, it's 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 definitely something I look forward to, and you know, breaking that record is an honor uh, to be compared with Chris Dudley, uh, and and to break one of his records is an honor. I mean, he had a great career here and a great career in the NBA, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a great environment to play in on Friday, and I think anything you know anything that we can to to get the crowd going will be beneficial to us being in our home gym. And speaking <coughs> of uh, Keith Wright on Friday. You had the experience this season of going down south over break and playing against ranked Florida, mm. You're the only other ranked team that Yale has played this season, along with Wake Forest, who you took down to the wire yeah. in a one-point loss. So you've been able to play against players who are, you know, are ACC players. They're mm. being recruited out of high school, and they're the best in the country. Um, so how are you going to take that experience and, be, and transfer it to playing against number 23 ranked Harvard on Friday night. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why we play those games. We play those games, I think, at the time we played Florida, they were ranked 10, and Wake Forest, another good team. Um, we play those games in preparation for the for the Ivy League so that, you know, we've seen some of the best of the best, and, and hopefully uh, when it comes down to it in the Ivy situations, we're prepared for tough, like, close games and, and good players because there's there's very good players in this league as there are in, in the other major conferences. But, yeah, I mean, it's definitely helped, you know, the guys from Florida um, – a very good team and, and playing against them and being able to be successful is certainly gives myself confidence and you know we played both of those teams tough and I think our team should feel confident that we can play with anybody um, when we play up to our potential. Very good Greg thank you for, for thanks for the interview. Thanks guys.